let's discuss the importance of prior knowledge which is also called schema theory although this is a very brief module and it may not be sufficient to discuss schema theory but you may have heard its significance in some of the other courses schema theory especially reading and writing courses um, and what are its implications for teaching l2 writing schema theory is all about activating the prior knowledge of the students in an organized and balanced manner and uh, schema within schema theory we can uh, make the use of first language but to what extent this is what let's discuss now uh, different texts have different purposes and different writers have different tones styles voices so within genre theory we have uh, writing for complaint writing as an apology or others so there are categories so these uh, formal categories are actually activated within prior knowledge within schema theory so this is called activating students knowledge about a topic knowledge of the grammar knowledge of the mechanics of writing in, a, in an organized manner and of course this knowledge is accompanied by some feelings and it's the it's up to the teacher how they actually manage this knowledge in the classroom for better and effective writing classes so activating the schema or the prior knowledge refers to both the content and form content means the ideas about the topic for example if students are asked to compare and contrast habits of dogs and cats so their schematic knowledge about comparative devices will be activated they will be asked to uh, list number of phrases which offer comparison and contrast in for example as compared to on the other hand um, in much the similar way so these are some of the devices which are there in the minds of the uh, students and which makes us see students not empty vessels or empty slates and uh, the notion given by uh, chomsky so this knowledge of the content and form form is the mechanics of writing the syntactic rules lexical items so let's not accept our students treat them as empty slates rather they have something to share they have something in their mind which we as language teachers need to activate uh, when they write texts actually what's the purpose of the text so activating the prior knowledge has its implications for both language teacher and the students because it makes writing a pleasure experience a uh, experience which lasts long so prior knowledge will help students understand their responses to the text and their understanding of the text actually for example and activating the schema depends upon the context in which it's being uh, activated different contexts dif require different schema for example if you want to activate the schema of students regarding a cooking recipe so they will uh, naturally know that it will list some of the items to be used some of the uh, items to be used for cooking uh, a dish so if they are experienced they uh, if they can know it better if they are not experienced they may struggle so it actually depends upon the context so teachers should make conscious efforts they should take steps to make texts and topics understandable and meaningful for the students and the purpose is not to uh, do the schema in one class and forget it in the second class or third class rather to continue it and make it 
a daily habit in almost every lesson and that will expand their schema and that will make them self-regulated learners or writers of English.